are going to be talking about smoothies. Now, I love smoothies because they are easy to make, you can take them anywhere, and you can pack them full of nutrition. If you're just starting with smoothies, I would recommend sweeter smoothies, where you have more fruit in the smoothie than you do vegetables or greens. So you could have an apple and a pineapple and a mango and maybe throw in a little bit of your favorite green, um, being spinach or kale. Uh, you could have blackberries and you could have peaches and then add a little bit of spinach or kale. The possibilities are endless. Eventually though, you want to try to move towards a more green smoothie, so where you have more vegetables in it than you do fruit. The ratio that you're looking for would be two to one. So two greens to one sweet fruit. The smoothie that we're going to make today is one of my favorites. I call it my ants on a log smoothie because it reminds me of the childhood snack, ants on a log, where you had celery with peanut butter and raisins on top. This smoothie is delicious because not only is it sweet, but it also has a saltiness to it. I love that sweet, salty combination. This is a pretty green smoothie, um, so if you're just starting with smoothies, try a couple of the previous smoothies that I mentioned. Um, but if you're looking to just jump right in, I would definitely give this smoothie a try. For this smoothie, you're going to need two leaves of kale, two stalks of celery, a tablespoon of raw almond butter, a third of a cup of raisins, and about a tablespoon of cinnamon. Place all ingredients into your blender with enough water to get your desired consistency. If you're not using a high-speed blender, you may need to chop your ingredients into smaller pieces or blend for a longer amount of time. For a colder smoothie, add ice. Then, simply pour your smoothie into your favorite glass and enjoy. Mmm, the sweetness from the raisins with the saltiness from the celery is so good and it really does taste like the snack ants on a log. Now remember, with smoothies, the possibilities are endless. So if you don't like a smoothie, it's okay. Don't drink it. If you're experimenting and you find a smoothie that isn't so enjoyable, it's okay. We've all made smoothies that did not taste so great. But keep experimenting, keep trying, and I'm sure that you will find plenty of smoothies you love. And remember, they are great because as you saw, they take only seconds to make. You can take them anywhere, and they are packed full of delicious foods and tons of nutrients. So enjoy. Bye-bye. You can also have smoothies that are completely made of vegetables. You can also have smoothies that are completely made of vegetables. So you could have the... So you could... The smoothie that we're going to make today is one of my favorites. I call 